of the most common questions I get asked uh, doing all this running is, how do you save your knees? Um, aren't your knees affected by all these miles? I'm Esther Smith with Grassroots Physical Therapy, and we're here with Joe Grant, BD Runner Guy. And we're going to look at some tips related to saving our knees in mountain terrain. And we wanted to start by having a little Q&A with Joe to find out how he's been running for 15 years, long distances, and pretty much running injury-free. Yeah, so I've, uh, I've been uh, running in the mountains for about 15 years, and I've been fortunate to not have any overuse injuries. So I'll have the occasional acute injury, rolled ankle, mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, um, I've been lucky to not you know, have any injuries. So running downhill is really just a controlled accident. And so the idea is to try and um, run as fluidly as possible, um, accompanying the grade rather than resisting it. And so if you accompany the downhill in your movement, um, that will cause less uh, pressure and less um, impact to the body, um, certainly to the knees, but also to the, to the entire chain. Um, so running is a, a sequence of micro falls and today we're going to learn specifically about how to fall correctly um, in this downhill motion. The two main things that I focus on uh, when running downhill are uh, posture and cadence. Um, those are the um, main, I think, elements to um, being as fluid as you can be um, working with the grade. So first posture, um, I'll start, um, before getting on the step, I'll just start standing here. Um, one of the common mistakes is to lean from the hips. Um, and so this isn't really getting us anywhere in terms of um, propelling us forward um, when we're running. If we lean from our ankles, um, we're using gravity mm -hmm. to help move us forward. So obviously on a downhill, gravity is to our advantage. We want to utilize that as much as possible to not have to like overstress the body. As an example, when you're on uh, a, a step, you're about to, to fall, sort of doing these micro repetitive falls as you would, you would do running. Um, first, I'm gonna demonstrate incorrect technique. So if you're leaning with your um, legs stretched out in front of you and you're landing with all your force like this, um, on your heel with your legs stretched out in front of you, it's causing a lot of pressure um, on the whole chain. Right. Knees, ankles, everything. Um, whereas if you're simply jumping down, controlling your fall, and landing in a more stable position right above where your hips are above the ball of your foot, it's a much stronger position for the leg to be in, and so it will cause a lot less pressure in the overall system. Makes sense. Um, and to accompany that, depending on how then steep the, the grade is, um, to stay in this optimal position, um, you're going to have to accelerate the cadence mm -hmm. and move your feet quicker and quicker to kind of match the, the, the grade that you're running down. So on a flat surface, it would simply look like, you know, leaning forward and starting to, to move your feet. Um, that's basically just running. <laughs> yeah. um, but on, as, the, as the terrain gets steeper, you know, maybe if I'm running down um, a 2% railroad grade, I'll be able to sort of you know, run a little bit more casually like this. But as soon as the terrain starts to steepen, steepen, then the feet are gonna start to move a lot, lot quicker to be able to absorb the terrain. Okay, and um, what are a couple things you do before you start a run just to remind your brain and body? Yeah, so the two posture pieces are um, standing here, leaning from um, with my hips above the ball of my feet and I lean from my ankles. So that's just a nice way to kind of set the mind to uh, the correct posture and how to move. And the other thing is the movement is a bit like doing jump rope. Perfect. So that's where you'll get the cadence from. So you're basically just matching these two pieces of correct posture and then moving the feet as fast as they need to be so that they can stay underneath um, the um, center of mass. That's great. And we'll take what we learned from you and detail out a few exercises in a couple other videos that look at hip strengthening and also form balance and proprioception. Awesome. Cool.